hit him. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Net Number Two channel. Today, we're going to be talking about my New England Patriots, your guys' New England Patriots. This is a 2020. 2021 to 2022 season recap of the New England Patriots this year. Um, last year, we finished with a 79 record. We had Cam Newton as our quarterback. And now we have, we drafted Mac Jones to be a rookie quarterback. Hell of a season for Mac. Congratulations. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually won the rookie of the year. But yeah, let's get into the season. And the, in the week one of the, of the season, we played Miami at Gillette Stadium. With there's a lot of expectations in that game between us and the Dolphins, a lot of drop passes we could have we could have made and actually won that game against Miami. So we ended up losing 16 to 17 to Miami. We started off the season 0 and 1. So yeah, unfortunately we could have easily gotten that dub right, but yeah. So yeah, we started 0 and 1. Get week two, we ended up we ended up beating the Jets with Zach Wilson. 26, 25 to 6, getting our first win of the season against the Jets. 25 to 6 at at New York. So, yeah. We used to have, we're currently at 1 and 1. Our week 3 matchup was against New Orleans at Gillette Stadium. We lost 13 to 28 with um, Jamie Winston as a quarterback. And so, yeah, we ended up losing. So, we're now we're in the season with 1 and 2. And week four, we played Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Tom Brady's return. Hell of a game. Our defense pretty much stacked up on Tampa. And yeah. So we're currently right now after week four, four weeks from one and three. On October, on week five, we played the Texans. Hell of a game. A great comeback from behind victory over the Texans, 25 to 22. At Text at the Houston Texans. We're currently two and three, right? So yeah. Week six, we played a hell of a game against the Cowboys so, at Gillette Stadium. Mac Jones doing the best game of his life, throwing touchdown pass after touchdown pass. Dak Prescott also. So yeah. We're currently dropped to two and four, and pretty much people thought we weren't going to make the playoffs when we were two and four. So in week seven, we played the Jets at Gillette Stadium, beating the Jets 54 to 13. Mike Jones again having a stellar, a stellar game against the Jets, 54 to 13. We're currently at three and four. And the Chargers at the Chargers, right? We beat them 24 to 27 after having a hell of a comeback victory over the Chargers. We're currently four and four. And then week week nine, we play the Carolina Panthers with Sam Darnold, I believe. Yeah. 24 to 6 at Charlotte in a hell of a victory. I'm pretty much seeing we pretty much like got like good um good victories. Right? Staggering victories. So yeah. Then we played Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns. We pretty much beat them 45 to 7. To go for a, to have a six and four record, two games above five hundred at Gillette Stadium. Then we play the Falcons at Mer Mercedes Benz Stadium. That twenty eight to three twenty eight to three um lead, blown lead against us. Pretty much like still with the Falcons. Honestly, we're currently right now seven and four in the, and after eleven weeks, pretty much in good position to win the AFC East and the first in the first round by. Then we played the Tennessee Titans, which I honestly thought was going to be like a close game, but the way we played against the Titans, fantastic. We won thirty six to thirteen. In the in the winning streak, we beat the Jets fifty four to thirteen, the Chargers twenty four to twenty seven, twenty four to twenty seven. We beat the Panthers twenty four to six. We beat the Browns forty seven forty five to seven. We beat the Falcons tw twenty five zero. We beat the Char We beat the Titans thirty six to thirteen, and then. In week 13, we beat the Buffalo Bills at Buffalo, and we finished the season. We had, we went to a bye with nine with a nine and four record. Pretty much, we were the best team in the AFC, and then we had the bye week 14. And I don't know what the hell happened. 
the last four games of the season. We lost to to a both to a Indianapolis Colts team, which I don't know what's going on with them. To uh, lose seventeen to twenty seven, pretty much it was a close game, even out. We lost at um Indianapolis. Then we played the Bills. Got absolutely destroyed against the Bills to fall to a nine and six record. Then we play the Jaguars, which in a hell of a victory record against the playoffs in week seventeen in a fifty to ten vic fifty to ten victory. Ten and six. And then in week eighteen, I pretty much thought we were gonna actually win this game against Miami. Twenty four to thirty three. We actually lost to Miami in a hell of a game. So yeah. In my opinion, this is how the season could have went. You ready? This is how I thought the season was going to go. I'll even have to take out paper. So, yeah. Let me just write this down for you. So, in week one against the Dolphins, that, was, that would be a, a victory, right? We would start the season off 1-0. and zero. Then we, we could have went 2-0 and oh against the Jets. Started the season off 2-0. We could have... Uh, could have be, honestly, with James Winston being the quarterback, anything can happen. We could have finished three and zero, right? Having a three and zero, three and zero record. I could have seen that happen. I could have seen our streak ending at three and one, having a three and one record, and beating the the Texans. We would go to four and one. We're currently at a four and one record at week five against the Cowboys. We could have lost four and two. We're currently four and two after week six. We could have beat the Jets five and two. Five and two, right? We could beat. We beat. We would beat the Jets. We're currently right now at a six and two record, after a loss against the Saint. After a loss against the Saints, and the Buccaneers, right? We're currently six and two, right? We could have beaten the Chargers. We would have been seven and two right now. All, we're looking great right now, honestly. With seven and two, this is what this is how what I, I would have been against the Chargers. Yeah. The Panthers also, we could have gone to an 8 2 record. Right? The Browns, I can kind of forgive that. The Browns, we could have won that game. We're currently right now at a 9 2 record at week 10. We could have won the division. We could have won everything. So, yeah. We, we're currently with a rookie quarterback, Mac Jones, and everybody who decided to play for us. We're currently at a 9 2 record. The best team in the AFC, in my opinion, right now. We're at, nine, we're at a 9 2 record, beating. The Panthers beating the Browns and the Falcons. We could have had a ten and two record in Week Eleven, right? Ten and two record. Nobody can stop us. Nobody can beat us. Colin Cohart was pretty much giving us a number one, number one, number one, pretty much every time with Bill Malachak, Mac Jones, Josh McDaniels, pretty much everybody. We could have finished ten and two. The Titans. I would have given that a loss. We could. We were ten and three. Pretty much better record that we were at right now. Ten and three. The Bills. We could have beaten the Bills. 11 and 3, right? 11 and 3. We, we were at 11 and 3, right? We're at 11 and 3 right now. 11 and 3. That's pretty much a good record. We would have still been number one in the AFC East division. And so, yeah, we would have been first. The Colts, we would have beaten the Colts also. 12 and 3 record, right? We could have beaten the Colts. The Bills, I would have, I would have also lost. We would have been 12 and 4. That's a pretty much good record. We could have beaten the Jaguars, 13-4, and four, and we could have beaten the Dolphins, 14-4. and four. We could have finished off with a 14-4 and four record, win the AFC East, win the div division of ours, win the first round bye. We could have easily like went into the Super Bowl, like to the, to the division. But no, we decided to go 10-7, and seven, losing questionable games in my opinion. So yeah, guys, we could have finished 10-4, and 14-4. and four. But yeah, hey, this is just me. Pretty much, we had a a good season after a stellar season with Mac Jones having a good a good season. So yeah. Anyway, guys, this is just me recapping the New England Patriots um season this this year. Hopefully, we can win the Super Bowl next year. Honestly, I want to go for that. Honestly, so yeah. Other than anyway, guys, this has been me, and see you guys in the next one. Nobody's out in peace.